Hi, this is Sabrina. Uh, my company is Yoga Mare. Uh, I mostly do yoga retreats out here in the Hamptons. Uh, but now, with the situation that is ongoing and the lockdown, I decided to make a series of classes so that uh, people can practice at home. Um, this series is a seven day series. You can do it in one week or you can do it at your leisure. And each class is only half an hour, so you can do it anytime. And uh, also it addresses a feeling or something that you can work on and that there are poses that will uh, help you improve that situation. So the first class, I decided to uh, address it to uh, fear and anxiety. Uh, not that I'm wishing that anyone is, fe is feeling uh, fearful and uh, with anxiety, but it is a, a weird time in history and we may all have concerns and worries on what is going on in the world right now. So uh, backbending and forward bending are excellent poses uh, for getting rid of the anxiety. Let's get started. We're going to start in a standing position with your feet together, like a nice solid Tadasana. So arms by your side with your palms facing forward. Your feet are about hip distance apart, so they can be together or slightly apart. And maybe close your eyes for just a moment, bringing awareness to your breathing. Just focus on your breathing for now. Deep inhale and slow exhale. Take a moment to notice what's going on in your mind without judgment. And maybe let go of anything that you don't need right now. In fact, create a space on your mat and in your mind for the next half an hour dedicated to yourself. Gently open your eyes. As you inhale, extend both arms over your head. Gaze at your thumb. And as you exhale, drop your head, bend your elbows, bend your knees, and forward fold. So keep your knees slightly bent or as much bent as you need to. And find a comfortable forward fold. You may feel a stretch in the back of your leg, but make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your neck is relaxed. This is just so helpful anytime actually you feel anxious. You can also do it while you're seated on a chair. Just forward fold like this. Drop everything. As you inhale, extend both arms by your side, over your head. And as you exhale, forward fold, like you're melting on the ground. And let it go. You can sway right to left. Notice if there is a tension in your leg. And one more time, extend your arms by your side, over your head, drop your hand, and forward, forward, hands to the back. Also bend your knees, warming up your legs, gently, slowly, always being mindful of your knees. And come on back up, forward fold. Bend your knees again, and this time coming down on the mat, setting it up for cat and cow. Nice, all four, as you inhale, curl your toes under, arch your back, chest up look up and as you exhale flat feet around your spine look at your belly button inhale curve your toes arch your back just up look up exhale flat feet around your spine 
get all the air out of your lungs. One more time, arch your back so much, your belly is dropping to the floor. And as you exhale, round your spine like a little cat. And one more time, inhale up and exhale down. Coming back to neutral spine position, now start making little circles with your hips. This is dancing lion. I like to start with little circles, but then try to get them bigger and bigger. Even adding a little shoulder movement. It's a free movement, really. It's your time to warm up your body, bring awareness every part of your body. And then the other way, opposite direction, little circle and bigger you can go all the way down to child pose come on up dancing lion imagine a lion in the jungle and back to all four now extend your right leg behind your left arm in front of you deep inhale and as you exhale bend your right knee left elbow coming to touch under your chest Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, bring it in. Two more times. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Last time, out. Reach out, out, out. Exhale, in. And come back to hands and knees. Now extend your left leg behind your right arm in front of you. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, bend your left knee, right elbow, coming to touch under your chest. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Last time, inhale, stretch out as you're reaching for the sky. Exhale, bring it in. And come back to all four. Now curl your toes under and lift your knees up to down dog. So be nice to your legs. First down dog here, so you can bend one knee after the other, lifting one knee after the other. I like to bend both knees and feel that forward tilting of your pelvis. When you're sure that your hips, your glutes are shooting to the star, extend both legs. Now you'll feel a nice straight back. Make sure you're drawing your ears away from your shoulders. And now as you inhale, extend your right knee up in a three-legged dog. And exhale, bend your right knee, open your hips, keep your shoulders square. Inhale, extend your right leg up. And as you exhale, coming to lunge, your right knee into your chest, right foot to the front of the mat, and drop your left knee. Come back to half split, flex your right foot, deep inhale, and as you exhale, fall over your right knee. Slowly come back to lunge, and now as you inhale, extend both arms over your head. Exhale, lower both arms, find your palms behind your back, interlace your fingers and chest up, look up and breathe.
release your hands, bring your hands to the front, framing your right foot. Now curve your left toes under, lift your left knee up, and your right foot steps back to plank. Exhale, Chadran. Inhale, up, down. Exhale, down, down. Inhale, left foot comes up in a three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, open your hips, keep your shoulders square. Inhale, extend your left leg up, all the way up. Exhale, coming to lunge, your right knee into your chest, left knee, sorry. Your left foot coming down to the front of the mat, coming to lunge. And you can drop your right knee down. Now sit back in a half split, flex your left foot, deep inhale, and as you exhale, fall forward. Slowly come back to lunge and raise your arms over your head. Exhale, lower both arms, find your palms behind your back, interlace your fingers, chest up, look up, and breathe. Release your hands, bring your hands into prayer, and on the mat. Now curl your right toes under, lift your right knee up, left foot steps back to plank. Exhale, chadron. Inhale, up, down. Exhale, down, down. Slowly walk your feet to the front of the mat, leaving your hands on the mat, landing in a forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows. And shake yes, shake no. With your head, sway right to left. Let gravity bring you down. Relax your shoulders, your neck. Release both hands by your side. And with a round spine, come and up one vertebra at a time. Big shoulder roll, landing with your palms facing forward. Big breath in and slow breath out. So we're going to do a um, slow sun salutation, uh, Surya Namaskara. Uh, it's going to be slow in that the movements are slow. You're feeling the tension in your limbs. But we are doing one breath, one movement. So, getting it to warm us up. Inhale, extend both arms over your head. Exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, arms up and back. Open up your heart. Exhale, come on up and fall forward. Inhale, right foot steps back to lunge. Look up, say hi to the sun. Exhale, left foot steps back to plank. Chaturanga, chest to the mat. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward to lunge. Keep moving, always little movements. And left foot, big step to the front of the mat, fall forward. Inhale, root to rise, arms up and up. Exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, raise your arms over your head, arch your back. Come on up, both arms over your head, and fall forward. Inhale, left foot steps back to lunge. Keep going, keep sinking. And right foot steps back to plank. 
Axel Chadranga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale left foot steps forward to lunge. Look up to the sun. And right foot big step to the front of the mat. Fall forward. Inhale, root to rise, arms out and up. Exhale, hands into prayer. And by your side. We're going to do it one more time and we are going to add a crescent lunge. Inhale, raise your arms over your head. Exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, right foot steps back to lunge. Now raise your arms over your head. Crescent lunge. You can sink even here in your crescent lunge. Sink your hips. Hands to the mat. Left foot steps back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward to lunge. And raise your arms over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left foot being step to the front of the mat. Fall forward. Inhale, root to rise, arms up. Exhale, hands into prayer. The other side. Inhale, raise your arms over your head. Arch your back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, left foot steps back to lunge. And raise your arms over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat. Right foot steps back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward to lunge. And raise your arms over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat. Right foot, big step to the front of the mat. Four, forward. Inhale, root to rise, arms up and up. Exhale, hands into prayer and by your side. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Arms up parallel to the floor, up on your tippy toes and coming down on your knees be mindful of your knees straight back and when you're down here you can grab an imaginary rope and lower yourself down completely flat on the mat deep breath in deep breath out Lift your legs up, creating an L shape with your body. You can make little circles with your ankles in one direction and in the opposite direction. Shake out your legs. Feel the blood flowing in the opposite direction. And when you're ready, lift your hips up, coming to plow. So you have options here. If your toes are not touching, that's okay. You'll do the same thing, just leaving your toes up. Or if you're touching the mat, you can curl your toes under. You'll have more of a stretch on your legs. Or you can point your toes and you'll have more of a stretch in your back. If you are up for a little 
challenge. You can come up to shoulder stand and slowly coming back to plow and roll one vertebra at a time back to having your glutes on the mat then bend your knees and place your feet hip distance apart your knees are hip distance apart we're coming up on a bridge when you're ready as you inhale lift your hips up find your palms under your back interlace your fingers and keep lifting your hips up release your hands around your spine and come on down the second set you can do um, a bridge again like we just did or if you have it in your practice you can do a wheel but only if you have it in your practice don't experiment now if you don't have anyone that can help you so if you have your wheel you bring your hands by your ears come on up on your head first and then extend through your legs and when you're ready bring your shoulders down and roll back on your mat extend both legs in front of you and both arms over your head stretch deeply like they're pulling you from your hands and from your feet now with a breath in sit up with your arms over your head inhale extend both arms over your head and as you exhale fall forward so your feet are flexed your legs can be bent as much as you need Ideally, you'll feel a connection with your belly and your thighs, so you can bend your knees as much as you need to. And your shoulders are relaxed, your head is an extension of your spine. If you feel the connection of your belly with your legs, you can extend your knees. if you feel like your back is kind of straight you can even bring your head down extend both arms over your head keep them by your ears come on up with a straight back and lower both arms by your side fingers facing forward you can point your toes and lift your hips up now you can always bend your knees here if you need to come up to tabletop or let your head go bring your chin into your chest and lower it down now cross your legs and come over to your knees and extend both legs coming to high plank you can, uh, you can enjoy your high plank bending one knee after the other engaging your oblique when you're ready bend your elbows and Now open your legs slightly, bring your hands down by your waist, and as you inhale, come and up to big cobra. Relax your glutes, it will help with the flexibility in your back. Long neck like a ballerina, and breathe. Look over your right shoulder, and back, and left shoulder. Deep inhale and as you exhale, coming down. Arms by your 
side and you can bring your head down looking to your right left ear on your left now bring your hands by your side we're going to lift everything up like a superman so lifting your legs up and your arms up and look up like you're a superman superwoman here i am breathing deeply and then coming back now lift your chest up you can open your knees and sit back in a wide leg child bring your hands on your glutes here chest up so really first is just like the upper part of your back and your head is coming down and if it's available you can bring your hands down to your heels and slowly come on up now coming back to child pose this time with your arms by your side and drop them down your elbows on your mat. And maybe notice the feelings that is going on. This is a child pose, so it's a lot of meaning to you to this pose. Feeling of protection, like you're building a, a shield around you. Extend your legs in front of you and roll back on the mat. Bend your right knee and extend your right leg. You have options, you can just go behind your thigh here or you can go over to the lower part of your leg. Just not on your knees, you want to protect your knee. Wherever you are, that's just exactly where you're supposed to be. You can have your leg with your hands rocking really gently, feeling a nice stretch in your legs. And slowly bring it down. Now lift your left leg up. Again, it can be here, it can be here, it can be in, around your shin, it can even be by your foot, if that's uh, available to you. And gently rocking, <clears throat> like little bounces. It's like a rubber band, your muscles. So if you pull little by little, you will get extension more gently. Bend your knee and open your legs in a happy baby. You can rock right to left. You can grab the inside of your feet and stretch out your legs. Make sure your hips are down on the mat. Bend your knee. One more time and stretch out your legs one more time. Now bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. 
place them on the mat in a supine butterfly. Arms by your side with your palms facing the sky to the sea. Extend both legs in front of you. And take a few deep breaths. This is your time. You can stay as long as you want in your savasana. I'm going to leave you up to uh, close the class, but you can stay and close it la later. You can bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around, rock right to left, massaging your back. Rock down to your right side and with your left arm lift your chest up. Maybe keep your eyes closed. Come back to a cross leg position, hands into prayer. I would like to seal this practice with an own and you can join me if you wish. Let's take a deep inhale together. Thank you for practicing with me today.